five days and 40 hours a week. Sounds pretty standard for a full-time job, right? But what if that standard changed? A six-month experiment that had dozens of participating companies just wrapped up. And organizers say it looks like a four-day work week may actually, better, may actually be better for business. So this could be the future. Mike Valeria walks us through the results. A shortened work week sounds pretty good, right? But is it good for business? Millions switched to remote or hybrid work during the pandemic. Commuting time was scrapped, meetings got shorter or were done virtually. And the question of whether or not a traditional work schedule was necessary got louder. We just saw people that were burnt out and tired. So 33 companies with a total of 903 employees signed up to participate in a six month trial with the nonprofit called Four Day Week Global and researchers at three universities. The uh, requirements are no reduction in pay. So all employees are still getting their five days pay. And there must be a meaningful reduction in work time. Organizers say the trial was an overwhelming success. None of the 27 companies that completed the post-experiment survey said they were planning to go back to the five-day work week. The productivity is up, not down, from four days versus five. How can I possibly argue to this building of intelligent human beings that I want to put them back on five days? Workers reported lower levels of stress and fatigue. Company revenue was higher compared to the year prior. And some managers reported that having an extra day off gave their staff more energy to do their jobs. One of the big benefits we've seen is just the perspective and almost kind of freshness that people bring to work with them. And one 2021 survey showed that 70% of workers in America would support a shorter work week, while only 9% oppose. The five day, 40 hour work week feels like this immutable law that was handed down by God uh, at some point, but we invented it about 100 years ago. We just haven't updated it. In Los Angeles, I'm Mike Valerio. Thank you, Mike. And it's Santa season, but Santas are in short supply. NBC's Jesse Kirsch reports on the Santa shortage and what you can do. Ho, ho, ho. His iconic laugh <laughs> brings the magic of Christmas to life. You get presents. Not only presents, you give, you give them to people. Fun and family and fellowship and love. So it's no surprise Santa Claus is in high demand. But as more in-person holiday parties return, St. Nick's taking on even more jobs, leaving his workshop in a supply chain lurch. As we're heading into December, uh, we're pretty much sold out on all weekends across the country. We're up 30% over last year, and last year was a record year itself, and that's up 120% over pre-pandemic levels. Higher Santa says even though some families are less concerned about COVID this year,